What's good, y'all? This is Jay Park, and today we're going to see what these two young kids think about my music on Kids on Lyrics. Hi, my name is Dylan. And I'm Zaria, and, and this, this is, is Kids, Kids on Lyrics. All right, guys, so the first song up is a song called Wagon Is My DJ. I've known Wagon for about 10 years now. He's been uh, DJing for me when we do shows. We've been touring, we've been uh, traveling together and then he's been getting more into producing as of the later years. And so I told him, I was like, yo, for, for branding purposes, everybody needs a tagline, you know? I just kind of started like brainwashing him, like, yo, this is what you should do. Like, Wagon is my DJ, Wagon is my DJ. And then uh, that's kind of how just the song came about. Wagon is my DJ, since when did BTS become rappers? <laughs> what? I wonder if they know who I am. I, for one, actually thought it was a really good song. Okay. I don't have anything Zarya bad to say about up. this song. I think I would actually listen to this in my regular daytime. Ooh, okay. I didn't understand half the words. They were in Japanese. Oh, it's, Dylan's it's a little hater over here. He was here. trying to go both genre ways, and then he translated. You weren't listening to the lyrics? I was, but I don't understand Japanese. No, we're not Japanese. We're Korean, and no, we're not BTS and we are doing music to show a different side of Korean music, because not all Korean music is BTS. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. What lyrics do you remember? Um, I remember it was a little in the beginning of the song. He said something like, chocolate drop complexion is my type, and I remember Ooh. that one. Okay. And I thought that was really funny. Oh, it wasn't meant to be funny, though. Hella drippy, someone get me a poncho. So that the venue five thou in the house, though. Yeah. That his fit is really clean. Um, fit, they call it drip. I think a poncho is like, he's adding it to an accessory. Isn't a poncho like, used to cover up your body? I think I have a white one at home. It's for rain, but when he's talking about like, my drip's so wet, I need a poncho. Like, his drip is like, really clean. Okay. Oh, okay, so, I understand. So Dylan understood that part. Oh yeah, yeah. it is so his <laughs> drip is like, really wet. <laughs> Yeah. Basically, okay. yeah. That makes sense. Okay, and what's he talking about when he says, pop it one time, mama, use no hand? <laughs> <laughs> that one's for you, Dylan. What, do you, what does that mean? Why are you putting me out on the spot like that? <laughs> you have to test my knowledge? You are on the show for this. Come on, Dylan. To be honest, it could be front or back. <laughs> oh, that's... Front or back what? It's a sex term, relating term. No, it, um, it was not. I was thinking more of just like booty popping, like, you know, like twerking or, you know, more of a dance. Um, uh, Dylan went a little bit more explicit than I would have thought, which surprised me. The next song is a, a song called All I Want to Do from my Everything You Wanted album. You know the great part about this artist? You cannot understand the song <laughs> and still like oh. the song. Because I didn't understand any part of it, but I still like the lyrics, even though I didn't understand them. And I still like the beat, and I still liked absolutely everything about it. That's what makes him such a great artist. I really like oh, okay. it. So Zaria just to let you up. know, he's speaking English throughout this song. Dylan. You. Oh, I thought this was like a Korean Despacito. <laughs> like speaking in a different language. That's a very big compliment. I appreciate it, Dylan. So for this song, I was kind of getting like smooth as Chris Brown and then like as the song type, like Justin Bieber. I don't know if I put it in the right category, Despacito. but like, no. I feel like it's a type of genre that I would actually listen to. It's kind of like that type of smooth, smooth type of songs. 
Girl, pardon me, I don't mean to be rude When I have some favor, wanna spend it on you All I wanna do is kick it with you There's a mosquito, sorry. He says Seattle to Seoul, baby. Seattle to Seoul, baby. Oh, Korea. Oh. Seattle to Korea. Dylan is a very bright young man. Because he moved yeah. from Seattle Just, to Korea. Exactly. The next song is a song called Me Like Ya. This song is another song that where we just kind of put it out, no promotion, nothing like that. We just shot the music video, put it out, and I think it's one of my most popular songs on Spotify and one of my most viewed music videos. People do like my stuff in English. I can do things in English, and people will still listen to it and, and, and vibe to it. So it, it gave me the confidence to kind of move forward how I am moving right now. I just want to point out that I heard a lot of Justin Bieber references in this song. He said, like, I can be your Justin Bieber in the beginning. Yes. That's one. And then the second one I heard was, um, uh, I think, You Rock My Body, like, something, something. And I remember it was in Justin Bieber's song. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dylan doesn't Dylan? look happy. I actually like this song. Oh, this, um, what a surprise. Good vibe. This would probably be good at like a concert or something. But yeah, it's really good. I got Dylan's respect. Yes. Give me that work like you wee wee, go pop it like 3D, get wishes like genies. Obviously referring to Rihanna's song work. Re -re I didn't know. Rihanna. Either that or it's Ariana Grande, but. Nah, it's, so. it's Rihanna. Or they would have said Ari. Yeah. So. So the next song is Feng Shui. It was good. Oh, okay. Even though I yawned, it was good. <laughs> What'd you like about it, Dylan? Um, it was like a really good energy and stuff. Well, energy kind of means feng shui, so. Oh, she knows I what feng shui is. I think it would be is. good energy, but I feel like it's a good song, just not in my, my genre point. He says, you talking crazy, rearrange you like it's Tetris, boy. Do you guys know what Tetris is? I've heard it somewhere. What, they don't yeah, know what Tetris is? I've heard it, but I forgot. Where have I heard that? For me and my, all my friends, it's like, of course we know what Tetris is. That's like the OG classic. That's like Super Mario. Like, you know Super Mario, you know Tetris. Tetris, some type of energy source, energy, some type of different T-Mobile. <laughs> Tetris, <laughs> wait. Isn't that like a Ugh. game or something? It is a game. Oh. No. No. It sounds like it could be a game. It is a no. game. What's surprising is at the age of nine, Zarya knows what feng shui is um, and that she doesn't know what Tetris is. Another thing that surprised me is Dylan just guessed and he got it right. I'm what, 33? So what, we're like 20, 20 years apart. And so I'm sure if when I was 10, someone named a game from 20 years ago, I wouldn't know what it is. It's mind blowing, but at the same time, I could understand because a lot has happened in 20 years. So the last song we're gonna listen to is Soju. I mean, it was okay. I was a little bored, though. Okay. I needed, like, more pop of energy. This song is, like, to get really in your feelings type. Yeah. I don't think it was meant to be energetic. And I feel like it's, like, if you're, like, sad or something or you're in love or something and you and you need a song, I feel like that's the type of song. Like, I kind of wanted to yeah, dance a little, a little bit. because I was in, but... like, an energy type of mood. So this song is the first song I released after signing to Rock Nation, being the first Asian artist to sign to Rock Nation. I felt like even though I'm from the States, um, I wanted to kind of be authentic and true to myself. You know, when you're over 21, everybody drinks alcohol, everybody likes to have fun. So it's kind of like from my culture, in Korea, this is what we drink, and so that's why I came out with Soju. Uh, and then we got the, the ATL OG 2 Chains on there, uh, which made it kind of dope that he's on a song when we're talking about a drink from Korea. It's the end of the day, all my bills pay, so we better get lit off the Soju. What do you guys think that Soju is? Can you spell Soju? <laughs> Soju, S-O-J-U. Um, oh, it's one word. A person? They shouldn't know what soju is. They're too young to know what soju is. Alcohol or drugs? <sighs> See, Dylan is such a, a very, very drugs. bright young man. Very um, smart. 
because I don't think he would promote that type of stuff. No drugs. But no drugs. And alcohol. Nothing illegal. Yeah, yeah, like like a drink. Because there's something called sake. Okay, and this is exactly why I want to come up with soju is because. People in Osaka, they don't know what soju is. He says, Terror Squad, we way up, way up. Do you guys know what he's referencing there? Oh, terrorist? <laughs> oh, terror as in Halloween His terror? Yes, that's how you spell it, like Halloween, Halloween okay. terror. But what do you guys think His that? friends, maybe? Terror that's probably squad. what he call his squad. Or that's just like some type of nickname. Terror Squad is uh, Fat Joe's crew. They had a song called, Nothing Can Stop Me, I'm All The Way Up. So that's what I was referring to. I really enjoyed today. Usually I don't intend for my music to be, you know, oh, like a nine-year-old could listen to this or a 12-year-old could listen to this. But that's not what I'm thinking about. But it was very kind of refreshing and fun to, to hear the opinions of young kids that aren't too familiar with me as an artist and aren't familiar with my music. So I want to hear those opinions so that I could have a real-world perspective about me and, as an artist and my music. All right, guys, this was Jay Park, and this was Kids on Lyrics. Make sure y'all listen to Everybody Sucks, DJ Wagon, Jay Park. Listen to the higher music compilations, Red Tape, Blue Tape. Thank you for all your love and support. Everybody stay safe. Everybody stay healthy. God bless.